This is the full guide to the SOS emergency system on your, this is the Samsung Galaxy, this is the S21 FE 5G, but this goes, this system is available on most modern Samsung Galaxy phones. All right, if there's, if you have an emergency and you have your phone handy, uh, all you have to do is press the button five times and the emergency, should practice it a couple times, one, two, three, four, five, press the emergency, it's going to call. On this one, I have an extra step to swipe to call, but you can change that. But that this is the essence of the emergency SOS system inside your phone. And let's go over all the details. All right, to go over all the details, let's get into settings. And we're going to scroll down until we see red, safety, and emergency, and let's touch it. Now, there's multiple components of it. We're going to go over each one, and then you engage, you fill out the ones that you think are important to you. It's going to be important to different people. Grandma, you might help grandma and grandpa or your elderly parents set up the system differently than you would help your children. But this is a, a service that you should have a family meeting about or meeting with your roommates or meeting with your travel partners and find out what to do. All right, let's just go down the list and Touch your medical information. Read, pause here, or look, read on your phone that uh, there's some things that will be available in case first responders or emergency personnel are going to need to read about your phone. So you can confirm that, and then you can fill in everything that you need to. Okay, on your phone, it might be slightly different, but I think most modern Samsung phones are going to have your name, medical conditions, blood type, allergies, current medication, height, weight, date of birth, address medical notes, anything that, in you know, anything that might be available that you would want someone to know in case you were unconscious or extremely hurt, uh, fill it out. Again, your grandparents, your kids, your parents, everyone's going to have different needs. So fill it out depending on what you need. All right, let's move on to the next. The next one is your emergency contacts. You have to be very careful with who you choose for your emergency contacts. Is, is it a loved one? Is it a, a reliable friend that's always available? And then to do, to, to, let's just add one here. Let's add a reliable friend. Well, I don't have any contacts. So let me see. All right, let's do it this way. All right, I'm going to go to my contacts. I'm going to add a contact. And this contact is going to be reliable friend. Reliable friend. Just like that. And their phone number is going to be, let's see, we're in Kansas, 913-999-9999. And I'm going to save reliable friend. All right, that's how you do it. Most people know how to add contacts. Okay, so let's go back to the emergency contacts. Okay, we're back inside emergency contacts. Let's touch emergency contacts. Now let's add an emergency contact, and there's my reliable friend. I'm going to add it, and done. Okay, and you can add multiple contacts depending on, maybe you add, you have a personal doctor, you got mom and dad, you got, you know, your son that lives by. You have to decide. You have to think deeply about who you want to have, to, uh, to have up in your contacts, and then you have an option to have, have them shown on your lock screen, and then you have the option to share during emergency calls and texts. Send your emergency contacts and medical information to any emergency services you call or text. All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, the next one is emergency SOS. This is the meat and potatoes of what we want. This is where we pr tell the phone what we want to have happen. Press the phone five times in an emergency to call for help. Okay? If you are... If you think that you will only ever need help and you want it to immediately call 911 without extra step, take this off. Toggle this off. Okay? You got to think deeply about that. Okay? Then you can actually change the emergency number to call in your country. And even if maybe 911 or 999 doesn't work well where you are, Maybe you have the reliable neighbor that always picks up or the reliable son or your dad is super reliable. You might want to change that to this custom number. Or if you're traveling to a different city and you want your emergency contact to be different, you, again, you have to think deeply about what is available on your phone and what you want it to do. One more option here is I'm going to turn require this way. Yeah, I want to leave it like that on mine. Okay, send SOS to emergency contacts. 
text your location and an SOS message to your emergency contacts. Let's click that on and then t contacts, text messaging, your location and notifications. Okay, more to read, more to understand. But it, the, the, an important step is to continue to go through here because inside the emergency sharing, now do you want to attach a picture? Maybe you're hiking, you need a picture of your location. Maybe you're in a city, you're at a, a restaurant, a bar, sporting event, and you want pictures or people are hassling you or attacking you, and then attach an uh, audio recording. Okay, those are options. Again, consider deeply what you want to do in this instance. Let's move on to the next one. All right, the next one is the emergency sharing bar. We've already been over that. So let's move on to the next one. So it's interesting to me that safety and emergency is silence notifications while driving. So to limit the number of interruptions like calls and text messages, your device can automatically turn on do not disturb when you're driving. I would encourage everyone to do this. Uh, I've had a family member, a, a cousin who I was kids with. We grew up as kids. He was killed by a distracted driver. Uh, it makes me want to cuss about people who text and drive. But I won't do that because my channel, I'm not going to do that. All right. So on your phone, part of safety and emergency is for you to be safe and not to drive distractedly. So I want you to think think deeply about not driving distractedly. Let's move on. Next one is emergency location services. Um, this is There's a lot of reading about what is available, how it... Uh, I would leave it on. I would leave it on just in case. Okay? A little bit of reading and understanding to do here and a, a little bit of redundancy because it goes to the emerg back to the emergency contacts. All right, let's move on to the next one. Next thing we have is wireless emergency alerts. Allow alerts. We got extreme threats, severe threats, amber alerts, test alerts, and there's a few other things. So amber alerts. I've I've got kids. Uh, there are a lot of kids that live in this area where where I am, and it's like what? Yeah, I, I, I would help out. I would help out. And then severe threats and extreme threats. Uh, I I'm, I'm in Kansas. We live in tornado country. Uh, you might live in earth. I think we have earthquake is a separate one, but it might be important. You know, hurricanes. Severe weather, storms, uh, again, it might be important to just leave all of them on depending on who you are and what you decide. Let's move on. And earthquake alerts is next. So uh, you probably don't need this. I mean, I, I've experienced, I used to live in California and I've experienced er earthquakes, uh, n nothing severe. My grandfather lived in uh, California when I wasn't there and he was uh I don't remember what year it was, the big one that collapsed the bridge that uh, was on the news a lot, where the piece of the bridge just falls down on the other part of the bridge. He says he and Grandma ran outside, and they they were thrown on the ground just by – that's how severe that earthquake was. So uh, in, in my house, there was a little of – there was like this much shaking for like 15 seconds, and that was the mo uh, three-something in Kansas, which is kind of surprising. Anyway, turn on earthquakes if you live in earthquake country. Let's move on. And then something brand new is this unknown tracker alert. And this is, uh, you know, there's all those little tags, Apple tags, Samsung tags, Moto tags, everybody's starting to make tags. And your phone can actually scan to make sure it's not in your car, not in your bag, backpack, groceries. You know, people are weird sometimes. So turn this on and let's, let's see if anyone's scanning me, you know, my, my, in my area. I hope not. Do, do, do. Hey, I'm safe. Okay. And I want you to be safe. So again, I want you to take a few minutes to understand how your phone works. Again, this is the S20, Samsung Galaxy S21 FE 5G. Most of the modern Samsung Galaxy phones work just like this. Uh, the older ones all the way back to like the nines only have like a, a emergency text messaging. That's all it does. And so you have to decide either to program your phone or what if it's time for you to upgrade your phone to something newer. All right. I hope this has helped someone. I hope this will help you in the future. And hopefully you never have an emergency. But if you do have an emergency, your phone can help you. If this has helped you, please like, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.